Hi Toby. So I heard you had some problems with copying multiple objects. So uh, what I did was I created this file in CAD and I imported it in here. And as far as I understand, um, this thing here is all like kind of connected to, with each other. So it's like a big block of important, uh, imported data. So I think you can explode it here with full explode if you select it and now they become single um, objects. So now you don't have to draw around them. So I think that's going to be a, a big help for you. And now um, just in here, if you, uh, so let's extrude uh, a column here. Um, solid form, let's say, and make a cylinder, give it a bit more height. Uh, do you want to say 10, 10 times? I'll give it one more zero. Let's say, uh, you know, you have to press tab if you want to change um, selection. So if you see it's highlighted here only, I want both. Okay, both sides selected. Now I can go and press uh, left click on it. So it's selected now. So I'm going to copy it to the next um and to have this, this center snap, you have to go to manage snaps and have your centers on. Um, so just give me one second. I'll just go upstairs because um, my girlfriend came back with the uh, shoppings. I don't want to disturb her. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I'm safe in here. Uh, so uh, yeah, so you have to go to your snaps and to your centers. Okay, so now I'm gonna just hover somewhere around the center of that circle and go to the next um, next uh, point. So that's done, and now I can just keep just press enter. Oh, sorry, no, copy. <coughs> And that goes there. And as you can see, it seems to uh, that the new object keeps it's selected. So I can just press enter again, select base point, copy point. Again, enter, base point, copy point. And it seems it seems fast enough. I think that's going to be a good um, uh, good help for you if you just explode your uh, your background, uh, so to speak. Um, so and so on, right? And another thing is, if you if your if your columns are um, in some sort of an array, so let's say this space between these two is exactly the same as these two, and so on. That space is the same as this, and so on. So we can then we can just select them all, select them all. Oh, sorry. So to select multiple, you have to press and hold Control or Command, depends on. If you're using uh, Mac or Windows, so you just you, you just have to try both of them. Uh, I'm using Control, so it's, it's C T R L button, and then I just go click. I I keep holding this this button to select multiple. And now I can go and copy again, and now as you can see, I'm copying all of them. So I go to the center, go in here. Whoa. Highlighted lines overlap. Lines may not form this closed loops. Ah, uh, yeah, because I also uh, selected um, these circles and I copied the circle on the circle, so it gave me a warning. Thank you very much, Rabbit. Um, fair enough. Actually, if you want to go do a proper job, although we, you don't really have that much of time, so you can just as again tab and click tab. Control or, or command and click. Hover. Tab, control, click. Tab, control, and click. Hold the control when I click, okay? Tab, control, and click. And that way, I only select um, the extruded uh, objects. So now I can go to copy. Go to, as you can see, this little circle in the middle, the snap circle, and boom. And that shouldn't give me any warnings.
perfect. They are selected already. So if another row is the same, conformal, then I can go and do the same stuff that I was doing before. So I just continue copying. So I, I again, you have to kind of plan what you want to copy. You have to know which one, uh, you know, let's say you have those columns and they are exactly the same as let's say these are here, right? So you can again copy all of them. I, I wonder if I if I select them in a in an easy way like this, and then just change my selection. So I just want my common lines. I just want my forms. I don't want any lines. I just want my forms. I wonder if if at the moment am I? I think that's it. I think I just selected the forms. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna work. So now I'm gonna control. Okay, and select them all. So I have all of them selected, including the lines. So I'll try to just go to form. Now, try. We'll see. We'll see if that works for easier way for copying. So now I want to take all all of them in here. I know it's exactly the same in this building, in this building here. And let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, you're not Revit. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So it's gonna give you as far as I know you can you can go to manage and just say first of all can I highlight it delete checked okay I wanna I wanna check them all um how to check them all that would be easy just to delete checked and then they're gone right That'd be so much easier. But I think there is a purge on purge unused or um no. These are just for families and styles. Uh there's, there's probably a way. Probably when I when I select it now, see I have three uh, elements um selected. So it's it's the 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 three D object and two circles on the bottom, which is if I shift, hold shift and click on my three D model uh three D um object and i have just two lines selected so these are those two circles i'm not sure if it's a big of a problem at the moment uh there's there must be a way to get them um get rid of them um i'm sure it's a bit just it's just quicker for you if you just like select your um multiple selection and just um probably probably there is a way at the moment, I wouldn't be too concerned. The main thing is to keep the the three D objects um, in in right right uh, right order. See, so I'm doing the same kind of exercise now. I'm gonna copy those columns to this area here, and again, it gives me forty five problems because I had circles and circles and circles now. But that's fine. I don't um, see if I could just select them all that would be a bit easier right click doesn't give me anything uh yeah so at the moment probably there is a, there is a way to start it anyway two things if you have the same kind of area you can uh probably you can group the uh object so let's say you go and select this and you select um this and let's say you want to have tab, control, click, tab, control, click. And then there is your group command here somewhere. Uh, at least I'm not going to look for it now. But you know yourself where to find it. Um, and then you can just copy it and have that group created for copying the next time you need to copy it. Um, important thing is even if it's not con conformal, so it's not that easy as, as I made an, an array of lines of, with the same space, the same space between row and columns. So uh, it's easy to, to show it that way. But let's say you have, you, even, even going with the first thing I showed you, so just one column and objects exploded from your CAD drawing, you can still go and copy and select center to center. Okay. Oh, there you go. I think the more the more objects you have in your family, the worst, um, the, the 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 slower your computer gets. 
So I think it's better. And again, um, I know we we discussed that. I think for you it would be better if you if you made another family file, so conceptual mass file for your uh, project itself. Okay, that would be way better, way quicker for you because you have, you see, all this makes my computer lag a little bit. It gets slower. So imagine with your all of your uh, context building plus your detailed uh, project, it's going to be very slow. So um, if you have any problem with creating a new um, like new family, again, I recommend to you to send your your file to me, your your family file. I'll try to split split between context and and your buildings okay and get it ready so you can uh, keep studying for your uh, for your uh, exams and i can uh, and i can prepare your file so you, you can uh, kick start from from the moment you finish your uh, studying okay thanks toby and talk to you later